Welcome to Tech Wizards with Dom In this video, we are going to learn how to copy pipeline from one data factory to another data factory. So what we have here, let me show you. I have uh, uh, Azure Data Factory here. The name of Azure Data Factory is the Tech Wizards dash ADF. And then I have a pipeline here. I have uh, this pipeline called the Create Regional Files Pipeline. This pipeline, let's take a look in this one. Now you have for each loop and inside the for each loop, what we have here, we have copy activity. So why I choose this one? Because uh, this has uh, some linked services. Uh, so I want to show you what's going to happen when we're going to copy this uh, pipeline to new data factory. So what steps you need to take. So that's why I choose this uh, type of pipeline. If you go to source here, there is a data set that's pointing to our Azure SQL DB. So let's open that one. And here we see that the linked service. So let's uh, click on edit. And we can see that this is pointing to our uh, database server here, Tech Brothers server. Database name is Tech Brothers. And then we have username TB and then password. I'm going to cancel this out now. Now what we will do here, we are going to go to the second um, data set here that's uh, in the sync uh, and that's pointing to the blob storage. Uh, because we are reading from the SQL uh, table and then uh, writing to the blob storage. Uh, so let's uh, click uh, here. See, this is the name of our linked service, Azure Blob Storage, LNK Array. And uh, then we have this uh, blob storage. Uh, so, okay, so I'm going to cancel this out now and uh, we know that uh, our pipeline is using multiple uh, linked services uh, and uh, it is a point you know uh, pointing to one uh, for SQL and another is blob storage now I have this requirement where I need to take this pipeline to a new data factory so maybe I have created a, a new data factory where uh, you know I have to uh, move uh, some of the pipeline from some other data factories so let's go ahead and create our data factory and then we will uh, uh, work on that one so in this case I'm going to call this uh, Tech Brothers test uh, ADF. So our right there, Tech Brothers test ADF. Okay, so this is going to be all good. And no, uh, we don't uh, need any GitHub or anything like that. We are not configuring for that. And uh, let's create it. Our data factory is ready. Let's click on go to the resource. Click here, open the data factory studio. And now we are in the new data factory. Tech Bros is a test ADF. Right now we do not have any linked service. We do not have actually a whole lot of stuff going on here. It's a totally brand new one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the old data factory and try to do something. So this uh, um, pipeline, I'm going to click right there in front of it. And uh, you are not going to see any option saying export or anything like that. So click uh, open it and then you're going to go right here in front of uh, these three dots at the right corner and click right there. So you're going to see export template. That's uh, what you're going to see here and uh, click on that. So it has uh, downloaded a uh, file for us. That's a zip file. Now that file or template what we are going to use in the new data factory. So let's go to the new data factory and here uh, I'm going to go to the uh, pipelines. Once I'm in the pipeline, you can click right there, pipeline from the template. Don't do that. Uh, I uh, see right here, import the pipeline templates. You have tons of it here, but we are not doing uh, anything from there. These are the onlines available and all that. If you will say my templates is going to ask you, hey, you uh, do you have on the get uh, and that's uh, we don't have it at all. So what we need to do, we are going to cancel this out and uh, here what we are going to do. Let me see if there is any other option here. Let me click right there. If I go on these three, see, it doesn't have it. I was uh, thinking maybe it is uh, somewhere it says uh, import from local. So that I don't find it. It's okay. So I'm going to close this guy. So in this case, what you're going to do, you're going to click right here on the plus sign, add new resource. Okay. So once you click there, there you will see import from pipeline template okay click right there and now it's just showing you the uh, path from where you can upload show all files and in my case this is the one we just exported from our other data factory hit open and now this is coming nice but uh, it's asking hey um, you are missing some link services and for this data set uh, I need a link service so it's asking you do you have a link service here so I don't have it so what, do you want to create it yes I, I can create it and here it's asking me hey what do you want to do about that there is a link service for your uh, delimited text so that's our for the blob storage so do you want to create it so we can create it as well now what I'm gonna do um, there are uh, let's uh, cancel this out and uh, I'm going to show you 
a couple of things sometime what the people will do they will uh, go to the old uh, pipelines and the in the old pipeline let me go actually right there in the pipeline and here i go to the source in the source i know that uh, i have this uh, data set here uh, let me go open and uh, then i'm going to go to the link service and here is my link service um, so i can uh, uh, pretty much uh, you know copy the name at least uh, and then take from there so i don't have to do a whole lot of things uh, so uh, right there uh, i will say edit so even in, in the editor i'm not getting option to just copy this okay so what i'm going to do here at least i know that lnk sql array so i will go to the manage go to link services lnk array so i can copy this from here and then just go ahead and create it so other way I, what i was taking a look i was thinking hey if i can take this code and use it to create this link service but uh, i was not really able to do it so that's why i'm just uh, taking a copy the name of the this link service and uh, i know where, where exactly my server name is and where my database is so i will just create it so go to link service here and then I go to the new and uh, here is going to be azure sql so have that there now i'm going to provide exactly the same name and uh, in this case uh, my subscription is same my database server name is same database is same and i'm going to provide a tb user so what i will suggest you uh, just create the link services first and then uh, you can uh, import uh, the pipeline so it uh, just work fine and the second part uh, what i'm going to do i need the link service for blob storage that i'm not going to create from here i can go and uh, when i import it at that time we'll do it okay so click on pipeline again and here you are going to go to import from pipeline template go show all files and here you will select that exported um, pipeline and here what you have now in the azure sql database as we have created the link service we are going to use that so it is exactly same name so we are all good here in this case we did not actually create it first so i'm going to create from here so now it is asking you hey what is the name of that what you want so let's say if i will leave the name as it is like one or actually i will give actually totally blob storage uh, new okay so i'm creating actually with the new name so let me see how the definition is updated so here select the subscription and then select the storage so now we are all good here and you create this uh, new linked service now this looks good up and uh, we will say update uh, use this template so three resources one pipeline two data sets are created so you don't have to create a data set by yourself manually they will be created automatically but the linked services has to be created now we are here and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to go click right there and go to the pipeline here uh, sorry copy activity and then i'm going to go to source so it is in this case it is using on uh, the link service that we created and uh, here go to sync and uh, we click right there and as you see it is using the new link service we created from the drop down so it, it will update the values so nothing to worry like you have to have exact same name of the link service if you are creating it or using it you can you're fine so i'm going to run this pipeline and this has been exported to you know so you can see this came from our adf uh, tech browser adf and this is our new data factory okay so if i can debug this uh, what's going to happen uh, it's going to read the data from a sql table and create three files uh, by region so it's called asia north america and uh, europe it's going to create that in the blob storage so if i go right here so you will go to the storage and in the storage you are going to go to container and in the container you are going to go to the output container and here i have these files created so in this case uh, we imported the first of all we exported the pipeline by going to the uh, right there open the pipeline and on the right side we have this export template we exported it created the zip file for us and then we went to new data factory and then uh, we went on this plus sign right there and said import from pipeline template so it did that for us and when we did it it asked us a couple of questions related to the linked services so linked services can be created in advance or you can create from there in the drop down and we created that and finally when we executed it it was able to get the data from those required linked services and run the pipeline successfully and all the activities completed successfully and we can see that the files are created if you want to read and over i mean um, I didn't show you the folder. It did not have any file, so that's fine. So you can see that is I'm in tech browser test ADF. If I'll go ahead debug, it should create three files. Okay. All right. Let's go back, refresh, 
and uh, see the files are created. So this is how you will uh, export the pipeline from one data, one data factory and import to the another data factory. So thank you very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.